You know, one of the things that we do on the show that I absolutely love is we, we tend to focus on the positive. We take something that, whether it's controversial or, or something, that's, something that we're all going through or something that's mm -hmm. negative and really try to focus on how to um, find the most hope in those situations. And I know that this last year, year and a half has been really hard for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, we focus on a lot of the pod positives of like what we're leaving behind and what we're gonna take with us into the new season. But mm -hmm. how do we manage loss in a time for so many people who've lost jobs, lost lost loved ones, um, lost a year of, some people I know feel like they've lost a year of their life. Yeah. Um, how can we help? How can we uh, manage that internally in our internal world and in, in, in our, whether it's managing depression or managing anxiety or, or, um, or managing loneliness and all of this? Mm. Well, when you have loss, you have to have grief. Mm. And I think sometimes um, when we go through loss, we don't give ourselves permission to grieve. You know, give permission to go through the process of of mourning what we've lost. And, you know, we think of mourning as something that we only experience when someone dies in our life. But we can mourn the death of a dream. We can mourn the, the death of, 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 our, of our job or the death of our uh, marriage or the death of, of a relationship or a hope. And, and so some of it is just realizing that it's natural for us as human beings to experience experience grief when we've experienced loss. And, it, you know, for everyone who's listening right now who lost someone, uh, a loved one through COVID over this year, or even if it wasn't through COVID, but you lost a loved one this year, um, we just want to encourage you to give yourself time, you know, to grieve. And and one of the things I, I've always felt is important to share when I've presided over a funeral is to remind people that grief is proof that love is more powerful than death. Wow. Because if if love ended at death, then there would be no grief. And and a part of my own personal understanding of grief is that in a sense grief is what love feels like when it travels beyond life and death mm -hmm. to eternity. And so it's it's my love connecting to that person that I've lost. Mm -hmm. And and, and, and yet sometimes when we don't lose something as significant, we feel like we're not, I don't know, we feel like it's, we're not entitled to be sad. <laughs> you know, I, I, you lost your job, but, but if someone else lost a loved one, then you only lost your job. And, and so the, the main thing is don't compare your loss to other people. It, if you feel that loss, allow yourself to feel it, to realize it doesn't mean you're weak. It means that you cared about something. Mm. If you don't care about anything, you never experience loss. Mm. If you don't love something deeply, you never experience grief. Mm. So those emotions that we also oftentimes think are negative are actually proof that our souls are alive, that our heart is well. Mm. Watch it live on Hillsong Channel or head to hillsongchannelnow.com slash McManus to watch it now.